Hi guys, my name is Carissa and I'm the Fake It Till You Make It Mom. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're joining me for the first time, then welcome to my channel. You are joining me for a day late, crafty Monday, and it's been like a month since I've done one, so sorry about that guys. Life has gotten in the way and I haven't had any crafts that I've wanted to do in particular. So, I am doing a craft today, these little turkey uh, planter pots, uh, little terracotta pots, and... I think they're super cute. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, if I'm going to put plants in them, if I'm going to put candy in them, if I'm going to put candles in them. I don't know, but I think that they're super cute. And I have two different ways that I did them, one for Kira, one for Ari. So let me go ahead and just jump right in to show you guys the materials that you're going to need and how it's done. Okay, so here's all the materials that you need to make two of those turkey little planter pots. So I have two of those, two different sizes, one for Kira, one for Ari. And then I've got paint, I've got orange and red, you can also use yellow and brown, just anything Thanksgiving-ish for the feathers, or you can use one of those craft store maple leaves in fall colors. I've got a brown piece of felt, I've got four tiny of these yellow foam pieces and an orange foam, four googly eyes, some buttons, these are some of those non-skid bottoms. You can use various, uh, like raffia or ribbon, I'm going to be using that ribbon. And then a hot glue gun with some hot glue. So let's go ahead and get started with painting the feathers. Alright, so this is my husband Rob. He's like never in my videos ever and he's helping today with the Crafty Monday which is late obviously. So the first thing he's going to do is paint her hands in multiple colors, multiple colors. <laughs> so red and orange in some Ooh, variety. Keep your hand open. Keep your hand open. Does it tickle? And Ari is eating a mum mum cookie. You like that? Fun. And then once he's got her hand painted, he is going to press it down uh, with her fingers open onto the foam. Now, you can do this with regular paper or cardstock, but I wanted cool. to avoid um, any kind of ripping with it. Cool. So let's go ahead and okay, see. Keep it open this time. Open. Open. <laughs> oh, that's fine, because I'm going to cut out the fingers. Nope, let's leave this one. Let's do your other hand. So now let, we're going to go ahead and wash off. <laughs> That's what we ended up with, and we're going to go ahead and wash her off, and then I will do Ari. Alright, so now I am going to do Ari's part of the craft. Um, I'm going to do her feet for her feathers instead of her hands. So I'm going to go ahead and paint up her feet. Oh, these are feet. 
She's got stinky feet, huh? Shark. Shark. Wow, pretty feet. Feet. Shark. Shark. All right. One, two, three. Go and let's do the other foot. Wow. I think that tickles her feet, huh? Check. Paint. Paint. This is paint, huh? Oh, she got the paint. You silly. One, two, two. three. One, two, one, one. All right, so those turned out pretty cute. I'm going to go ahead and get her cleaned off. And then I'll show you guys the steps that I need to do without the babies. So. Alright, and now it is time for the assembly portion of this. So I've got all my materials laid out in front of me. You can't see them because they're kind of forward on the table. But I am going to go ahead and start off with um, Kira's little pot. So hers is this one. She's got the bigger pot. Now, I didn't mention that you needed scissors, so you do need scissors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foam and I'm going to cut out the handprint. because it got all smeared but so I've got both of those and I'm going to see if I got my hot glue ready okay hot glue is ready I'm gonna go ahead and position it how I want it I think I'm gonna do thumbs out so I'm gonna go ahead and some hot glue on this Turkey on. 
And what I'm gonna do, it's not already cut out, I have the felt and I'm just gonna make like two oval shapes. Maybe more, like a little more eggy shaped. Kind of like this. And this is the size I would use for, for Ari's. take this cord that I have and I'm going to measure it to length around the pot. turkey for Ari and I'm going to go ahead and speed through doing one for Kira as well and then we'll meet up at the end.
are the finished results. I've got obviously two way different sizes. I've got this one for Kira with the handprint feathers and I've got this one for Ari with the footprint feathers and I think they turned out super super cute. Kira you like yours? Is that one yours? Yeah? You made that huh? <laughs> Sit down. Can you show them? Wow! Now, right now I have no idea what we're going to put in them. They'd probably be cute for like tea light candles because um, we have those battery powered ones that are, you know, not no flame. Yeah, so I've got these two little turkey pots um, and it was super easy to make. It was super fun. Like I said, you have the alternate. Um, you can do the tail with those like craft leaves, the fall ones that you could just like a maple leaf and put it back there and that would be cute as well but I really wanted something that was okay bye <laughs> I really wanted something that was personal to the girls um, but so thank you guys all so much for joining me on this crafty Monday making these turkey planter pots and if you like videos like this give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment below in the description box there is also my Pinterest link which has uh, it goes straight to the Fake It Till You Make It Mom album. You guys can upload or tag me in projects that you guys would like to see done. Or you can just leave it in a comment below. Contact me on Facebook, whatever. Uh, let me know if there's a project that you would like to see me do with the girls. And, um, yeah. One thing I'm throwing out there, I am thinking about making a quiet book for Kira. If you guys would be interested in me filming a, um, like doing a video of every page that I do and releasing those like every couple of weeks, let me know, uh, cause I think that would be a really fun thing to do. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give it a big thumbs up. Thanks so much guys. Bye.